Do you want your Nintendo DS games to go from this? To this. Well, stay tuned, because in this tutorial I'll show you how to do it, and to prove that you don't need a lot of power to achieve this. I'm going to use one of these mini PCs, and as you can see, its specs aren't that bad, but it's also not at the level of a gaming PC. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Milan's website, and download the emulator from there. I'll also leave my files for you, if you don't want to go through all that trouble. I put it on the desktop so it's more convenient for all of us, and we extract the file, and there you have it, the emulator, you already know this part, we configure the controls, the emulator also detects external controllers like the PlayStation 4, the only downside is that, when you put a button in the wrong place, you can't delete it and you have to delete the file that is created with the configurations, but other than that, it's perfect, plus, I'm going to add some extra buttons, that will help me switch screens and go full screen. And that's it. Now you can enjoy your Nintendo DS games. Comes with a filter turned on by default that blurs the image, but it's just a matter of turning it off. You also have other image options, such as changing the engine to OpenML and this way you can increase the resolution. You also have the option to individually modify each of the Nintendo DS screens, making one larger, the other smaller, or even leaving a single screen. And now comes the reason why you came to this video, the wide screen. On this page. You'll find a ton of Nintendo DS game cheats, that can be used to change the aspect ratio. These were originally created to be used on the Nintendo 3DS. For this reason, we're going to have to make modifications to get the aspect ratio we want. Also, make sure you're copying the chips corresponding to the game region you're using, because if not, it won't work. And it's on this page where it will tell us what values we need to change in the code to be able to set the aspect ratio we want. For example, in the Mario 64 code I downloaded, 199 represents the 3ds resolution and i have to replace it with 1c72 once this is done i just copy the code into the milan's cheat list and that's it remember that you have to activate the cheats and also restart the game for it to work. Now my game looks all squashed and ugly. Don't worry. As I said in the settings, we can individually change the aspect ratio of each of the screens and that's it. One is set to 16, 9 and the other is set to the Nintendo DS resolution, or aspect ratio, rather. Using this same code, we can make the aspect ratio ultra wide S screen just by changing a few numbers and that's it. And as you can see, it's crazy because this game that's supposed to have been created for a not so powerful portable now looks great, almost as if it were a Nintendo Wii game. I've also seen some comments that say that high resolutions on the Nintendo DS make it lose the magic of the pixels, but don't worry because you can play in wide screen and as if it were a Nintendo DS.
Well, and that's it for today's video. Comment if you want me to make more short videos like this explaining small things. Like, comment, share, and remember that my files will be in the description so you can just open and download it. Comment what other Nintendo DS games you want me to add the screen codes to so you don't have to do much work. Bye.